Hey everybody, guess what time it is? Hi night! It's time, we are now in the car, driving to go have a baby. Emily, thoughts on the subject? It's about freaking time. It's been kind of a long two days. 48 hours, yeah. Long story short, this baby was supposed to be here yesterday. Morning. Yesterday morning, yeah. After playing some games with the doctors, with uh, all that going on there, finally going in to bring this baby out. Evelyn Ann will be joining us hopefully within the next 12 hours, so glad we could uh, have you come along for the ride. As we head into the hospital for baby number three here, we were just talking about how we've almost been in disbelief now that things are actually really happening, we're also talking things, you know, it's like things have never changed. Like, we've always had this third baby. It's kind of an interesting feeling. Yeah. It's um, definitely surreal. You feel the kicks. You obviously are bigger. I get crazy sick. Everything, signs showing that there should be a baby at the end. But it's, it's just something that doesn't seem real until you see baby even though she feels like a part of our family already physically seeing her is, I, is what's gonna take it from me to be like huh. and we have a baby at the end there we go yeah I'm, I'm right there except for I don't feel the kicks so yeah we're gonna go in we're getting an induction Emily epidural non epidural what because are we doing because it's an induction epidural epidural yeah. okay we had talked about doing a water birth but we're not doing that I guess not when I'm I need to get kick started to make sure this baby will fit. Yeah. On the so, TMI. So here we go. We'll uh, get as much video as we can. And again, I'm excited. I, number three here. That's the max you can fit into a stateroom on a, on a Disney cruise. So I think this is our last one, guys. Third and, third and last. <laughs> I think so. Let's get this party started. All right. That was kind of a crazy <laughs> car ride in. We got here at about, what, 6.15? Mm-hmm. And just to give you an idea, well, we got here and we were sitting around for a little bit. Took them, we showed up right during the middle of a shift change. Yeah. But we got her all changed. She's now hooked up. Hooked up. Lovely. And the time is now 8:51 p.m. So we've already been here for doesn't feel like it, but almost three hours. And almost a half hour into Pitocin now. Half hour. Which you are, you are getting contractions. Oh yes. We're getting contractions regularly. Um, here, I'll just take you over to the machine real quick. As far as I understand this, the green line up here, that's the baby's heart rate. And then the white line is the contractions. Given the spacing, you're at about, your contractions are like up and down. Every four minutes, seem, every other one seems to be a little bit more intense. So, but you can feel them, right? Yes, so, What's the game plan? Game plan is every half hour they're gonna come in and slowly increase Pitocin and see how my body reacts, see how baby reacts, and keep going until it's time. And somewhere in there, I will get the epidural. Yeah. So in case you are just tuning in to our baby vlogs, this is baby number three. Yes, it is a girl. Her name will be Evelyn Ann Campbell. Ready to complete our family. Yeah, yeah. Thinking back, you know, we, for the longest time, we thought we were done it too, but here we are in the hospital about ready to have, about ready to have baby number three. It's just slowly hitting me now that we're in the hospital and I'm feeling the contractions again. It brings back the reality of what it's like to give birth. And obviously I have the easy job. I don't have to be hooked up and but I'm in it for the long haul too, so. Anyway, so here we are. I'll definitely keep it G-rated. You're not gonna see anything you don't wanna see, but I definitely wanna document everything. For I want us. this for us. You know, when that little baby Evelyn comes along, you'll see her too. So just to come in and do a quick update here, it's 11 o'clock. And would you say we've had any real progress? Some progress. Yeah, like yeah. in what areas? Just intensity of contractions. Okay. They're getting more intense or just more frequent or both? Mm, probably both, but I'm I'm noticing the the intensity more than frequency of them. Okay. With an average of twelve hour 
labors between the first two. I suspect if it at this pace, which is, it seems from my memory, is, it seems to be kind of matching the um, last one. The last one, the floral. So uh, if that's the case, we're probably baby time in the next five of our hours or so, like go time. Maybe a baby in what eight o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Yeah. But uh, in the meantime, we're enjoying some Forrest Gump on TV. This is where it gets tough. Just to give you an update, it's now 12.30 a.m. They just came in about 20 minutes ago, broke the water, and contractions are getting pretty heavy. Yeah. Super intense, yeah. Super intense, so... We have to focus. We have to focus. Uh, with that, epidural is on its way. So, here we go. It's gonna get busy here. Epidural's in. Things are getting a little intense now, so we'll probably do less little intermissions like this. Another contraction's coming on. Epidural? Yeah, your name. <laughs> All right, it's now 2.02 a.m. Contractions are about a minute and a half apart, getting more intense. I'm not sure how well this epidural is working. Um, they had a wet tap, so she said it's going to be a little different. I don't know, we're trying to get the anesthesiologist back up here to maybe crank it up a little bit. But just keep going here. 2.36. They came in about 10 minutes ago and upped the dosage on the epidural. It seems to be working because she's going in and out of these contractions at the same pace, but she's sleeping. Check this out. Resting, maybe not sleeping, but she's very tired. I don't blame her. They're gonna come in in a few minutes, put a catheter in, and we'll just keep going. <laughs> and you knew it was gonna be a long night. It was only been like, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes since we last talked to you, but not only is the epidural working a lot better, but they came in, put a catheter in, and they measured her moving along quite quick. She's at about a six slash seven. We're thinking maybe the next hour will be push time, maybe a little bit more, but we'll see. Almost three o'clock, so it's pretty good. Pretty good timing. How long did I rest for? You were sleeping for about 20 minutes. Not for very long, about 20 minutes. Need it. Good. Keep going. I got this thing. Let's do this. Okay. Grab the pull behind your knees. There you go. Oh, yeah. Good job.
good. Sweet little girl. Didn't have much time to prepare for her to come. She's kind of. Oh, yeah. By the way, you're having a baby. Don't sneeze. Three pushes. Eight pounds, eight ounces, 21 and one quarter inches. Just an update. Things have moved on quite nicely. The baby is sleeping. Mama is resting. Oh, it's now 7.40 a.m. <laughs> the morning of. Uh, so it's been exact, almost exactly, well, just a yeah. little over exactly three hours since she was born. Uh, we're exhausted. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, nurses have been checked out. We've been moved into a different room. And I think it's time for a nap now. We'll have family and friends come over later. But for right now, both of us, we need some naps. So we're going to get some naps. All right, guys. We have a new family group here. Are you ready to go meet your sister? Hey, yes. Yes, she's so excited. Hello. Okay, Jackson. Come say hi to your sister. Come on, Laurel. Here she is. Your sister. Where's the Jackson, are you ready to hold your sister? Yeah. Hey, hold her. Okay, so your elbow's gonna hold her head, right? You're gonna let her rest there. First day for little baby Evie. She is down. She's been up and down all day, but um, currently she's down for the count. Let's see if we can get a shot of her. She's all snuggled up. Well, the day has come. The last night went pretty quick for me, at least. I got some good sleep. Emily, right as laying down, the baby got hungry, so. We had to feed the baby. Oh, she had to feed the baby. How was your night, though? It was fine. Yeah? I got three and a half hours of straight sleep. So That's pretty good. After only like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half hour, three and a half is awesome. I would say the baby is being a good baby. She's sleeping a lot, like just three or four hours at a time, then you'll wake up. So not very good for our sleep schedules, but I was able awesome to get some sleep. Awesome for a newborn. So. Yeah, great for a newborn. They are working on discharging us. We're gonna be going home very soon. So now it's just time to clean up and get ready and we'll hit the road. Don't wanna to forget to pick up the manual this time. All right, this is the cutest outfit. Look at this. Hi, baby. There she is. All the accessories. Look at her eyes, they're like a grayish blue. Baby's loaded, ready to go. Check this out. We are finally ready to go home. Thank you for watching. We're beyond thrilled <laughs> to have a new addition to our family. This is gonna be such an adventure. We love it. Evelyn is adorable. We love her so much. Um, again, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. That would help us out a lot. We'll see you real soon, because it's time to say goodnight.